Welcome to Politics Done Right. We are coming live from, where again? Pittsburgh, PA, Netroots Nation 2022. And who do we have here? The one and only. Where? Here, Liz <laughs> Winston. Liz Winston. The Daily Show. And I wrote it down because he you know, writes the Daily Show on the <laughs> back of a drink ticket. This is, I think. No, this is where you get free it's drinks? KPFT 90.1 oh, okay. FM. Right. But you know, uh, you know, hey, look. Hey, look. The last time we spoke, Ugh. you were so concerned about that abortion was going to be overturned, but that we were going to somehow be able to get over it. And even though you were fighting for it, I don't think any of us really, really believe that it would have just been overturned. But you've been fighting. I've been, I've been saying it and nobody believed me. I'd, I'd, I'd rephrase it that way. Yeah, okay. Right? No, well, actually, you know something? You're right. You're right. Uh, I think it's we who were hearing that, yeah, they may try to cut out the corners, but you were saying, no, they could hold, go for the whole shebang. Yeah, well, I think, I think, you know, Part of our self-preservation right. is to not believe that cruelty could run that deep. And I think that everybody has needed to see right. that the Republican Party has literally become like zombies yes. who feed off of our rights. And then when it's the next feeding, they need to take more rights right. like they will never be satiated until i don't know when and that's the part that scares but me. you know what what you know i mean i, I know I, I spoke to a, a, a few women in, in the movement they were crushed yeah they were crushed because it was like you know you, you see this stuff happening in slow motion mm -hmm. and then it just pops yes yes i think so and i think that even those of us in the movement mm -hmm. who were preparing for the fall of roe and right. what that would look like. Right. I, the one thing I will say is I don't think anybody thought and for sure they're going to just take birth control. Right. And for sure they're going to put a bounty on people's heads. Right. And deputize citizens. Right. To arrest people trying to access right. care. Like the levels that this has gone in order to create laws that can be skirted around by our Supreme Court. Literally, right. they duped the Supreme Court yeah. by saying, the Supreme Court saying, well, I don't know how we, we have to uphold a law that gives citizens the right, right. to, because we don't know. They were like, damn you kids, you know, on Scooby-Doo. It was like crazy. So the good news is mm -hmm. it's been a wake-up call and my organization, Abortion Access Front, um, Before I forget, give them the address of the, the, the oh, URL. AAfront.org and then Abortion Front all over on social. Um, we have been planning for the overturn of Roe for about nine months. Right. We also knew that oftentimes when these big things happen, mm -hmm. we march without a plan. Right? right. And then people are like, what can I do right. beyond marching? Right. So we created Operation Save Abortion. It's uh -huh. OperationSaveAbortion.com. It's a five-part series where we got the experts in all these different forms of activism within the movement. Right. You can watch an episode, and right. we have a activity guide that goes with it. So mm -hmm. what we're saying is, if you want to learn about helping patients, mm -hmm. helping clinics, direct action, legislative work, um, or you know whatever, um, watch one of these episodes with a bunch of friends. Do the activity guide. Watch all five episodes and then you can have an overview of how you can participate and then we'll hook you up with the organizations who are doing the work either nationally or right in your community so that people can no longer say, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know what to what do. To do. Yeah. And also they can be honest. They've watched this. Then they say to us, I have an hour a month that I can give and we say we can put you to work. Right. So we want to be able to meet people where they are, access whatever capacity they have and mm -hmm. make them feel like however they can participate is meaningful because that's key. Right. Now, Liz, you've been working at this for a long time. Um, see, your, your organization has to have grown since the since the, the because you guys have a lot more to do now. Yeah. Well, that's always the problem, right? Yeah. We have 10 people. 
Yeah. <laughs> we haven't gotten any more funding, shockingly. Wait, um, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean you haven't gotten any more funding? I mean, all this stuff's happened, and we're still working. We're at capacity. We have, we've gotten more volunteers, which right. is great. But, you know. It's we, shocking that you don't have people rushing to throw money at you. You would think. I think they don't know we exist. So now you do, you know, aafront.org. But, you know, in creating, we we did a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. I, I remember. To I get remember this going, anything. right? Remember you when guys, we launched? Absolutely. Yeah. I remember well. Yep. You know, so. Um, so we have 10 full-time people. We have five part-time folks and then uh -huh. a whole bunch of, of um, volunteers. But, you know, it would be nice to have a team of 20 if we're going to, you know, to really help create this thing and well, let, so let, let's talk to first a progressive space if you believe what you're saying if you believe that women are worthy as we know they are <laughs> i hope i didn't put that politically incorrectly i think that we're worthy i don't think there's any way to say women are worthy politically incorrect thank you just just want to make yeah. sure all right so I, I think it is time for us to start funding the things we believe in and, and stop just funding consultants not on the ground. A hundred. That is a super good way to do it because a lot of times people will fund thinkers who are like right. flying overhead. These folks are on, on the, ground. the ground. We're on the ground. You know, it's time for us to stop the 16,000. I, I, I could tell you stories. The 16 and 15 and $20,000 consultants. And start remembering to throw that money into the people on the ground, actually getting things done. Uh, what haven't I asked you that I should have asked you? I mean, I think that folks need to do a little bit of a rethink on how they've been participating right. in the reproductive health rights justice movement. You know, so many times I hear progressives say, I hope you women, like it's such, it's such a bummer what's happening with you women, right? right. And understanding A... It's larger than just women, right? It's all genders. But also, we all need to, as humans, fundamentally understand that abortion is about bodily autonomy. Mm -hmm. And they're coming after our bodies, whether you're LGBTQ, whether you're black and brown, right. whether you need an abortion. We are all intersected, right? right? And so the bad guys coming after abortion are the same bad guys who are coming after our kids in their schools, our LGBTQ community. CRT, all of that garbage that they're throwing out there, it's the same people. And when we all talk in our movements, I can say, hey, you know, John Doe, who's like out there fucking yep. advocating for this shit. He's also in front of our clinics. And did you also know that John Doe has these three things planned? And it's like, I did not. So the more we talk, the more we understand that the like Venn diagram of these issues is a circle. Yeah. Um, we can be stronger together. Liz Winstead, co-creator of the Daily Show. Darling. Oh my God, can I give you a hug? Absolutely. Yay. Girl. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. And thank you very much. And power to the movement. Power to the movement. And power to all succeed, of us. Girl. I, we're you gonna do succeed. it. Um, I got a lot of energy, so try I, to take me down. I, we spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.